The good news about the migration into the gradebook is that the gradebook items and the gradebook categories within Angel have migrated over into Desire to Learn very well. So if you go to the Manage Grades area within Desire to Learn, you should see your categories and you should see your content items connected to the gradebook. As you can see in this illustration, it shows me the categories and then the assignments within each of those categories. These are the ones that I had within Angel. It also tells me that they are still associated with the items in the content area. In this example, the weekly discussions, I can see that each of these discussions are connected to the gradebook. I can see that through the association column and it's showing me that these discussions are connected by showing these icons. An example of one that's not connected to a content item would be week 8 discussion. You can see this is blank in the association area. Now this is handy to know because in some cases assignments have come over in duplicate. Typically the duplicates are not associated with anything and it's easy to delete them. You just need to click on more actions and click on delete. It will give you a list of the assignments and then you delete the ones that you want to delete. If it's one that is associated with content and you don't want it, you know that you need to go into the content area, unassociate it, and then you can come back into the gradebook and delete it. Another area, another area that you'll need to check and desire to learn, and I'm going to flip to another screen here, if you are using the weighted style for your grades in Angel. In this case, in this case, you'll see a table that looks like this and you'll have a column for the weight. One of the things that we've noticed is that you will get messages at the top telling you that the grades do not sum up to 100%. They'll either be over or under. So in these cases, you're going to need to go into the categories and the grades and look at those weights and adjust those so that it adds up to 100%. That's the only other area that you're going to have to be concerned about in migrating over into Desire to Learn.